windy. It's so windy today. But we'll show you the layout here. You see up on the banks here how high the water's gotten. That's much ranger lately. It's flooded here, actually. Gotta get a walk around real quick. And believe it or not, as windy as it is here today, it is pretty busy. So getting this video for the nighttime has been a little tricky. And it is out in the middle of nowhere. When you actually come down the road up here, it's a little country road, and then it just stops here. Over a mile or so off the main road. But the local resident had told us about this place, Ben Connor, and it said that, um, of course, you know, with lakes, there's been several boating accident deaths, there's been some drownings. And unfortunately, there's also been some rape cases down here. That's why we kind of want to leave it undisclosed at this moment until after our nighttime investigation. And as I said, we've made several attempts to even come down here even to get this video. And it's so windy today, but we also wanted to do this video. time investigation with equipment that's going to be set off by wind the whole time. I want the true results because I don't think anything. Everything is 100% or not at all. But another known fact about this location actually used to be a town, a thriving town back in the 1800s. And this lake when they actually uh, tore down the dam I'm trying to not say any names of where we're at. Um, there was actually a main street that went right up under this lake. And it started back in the 1800s. And it was a thriving horse and buggy town at first. They said it was such a beautiful town. And now all this remains is one church and a cemetery that they did move to the top of the hill up there. I'll show that to you later. But... Other than that, all the residents did have to either leave or your house was, was going to be underwater. Damage. If you didn't move your house, then, as I said, this used to be a town. What they did, everybody living here just either went to other towns or just moved their place somewhere else. Back then, they didn't have a lot of money to do that, so I look mostly like the churches and things like that got moved. But in the early 1980s is when they actually let the dam loose to form this lake. It was taken over by the Army Corps. And so in 1980, the Main Street became this lake. I know it's a lot of information. I was glad to find out about this place because, like I said, it's so much history and unfortunately so many tragedies that it is a place where you can get a daytime and a nighttime investigation, but like I said, there's got to be no wind. And that's not uncommon for them to do this in this part of the country because if they needed a reservoir or they needed a, a huge lake and there was houses or communities in that area, they would first try to buy them. And then if you wouldn't, wouldn't sell to them, then they would force you out by state law uh, chip. Which they would basically just condemn your house, find a reason to condemn your house, and take it anyway. So it was better just to sell or move it. And instead of it becoming a ghost town, it just was a town that ceased to exist on the map. Actually, my sister had bought a house one time that it was in the middle of the lake. Well, in the, in the, it was going to be in the middle of the lake. And the previous owners, two times before, had had, had bought the, had took their house, moved it to the top of a hill, had it set on a basement. And, but that house would have been under the lake too if they hadn't uh, moved it way before they bought it. And um, but what they did, they just basically set it on big logs, lifted it up, and moved it to the top of the hill where it wouldn't get wet, where it wouldn't lake. 
Well, that's not uncommon in this area. That happens. Right, I was going to say, I've known several communities like that, but this one being with so much history involved in it, so I, I've been wanting to get here. I've been saying that for a couple months, and it's took it this long to get in between the break in the weather, and like I said, it is actually still too windy to film, but we wanted to share this quick video with you all, and while we're on vacation, we do have several haunted locations we're going to be sharing with you. It's just, I'm not going to be putting my videos up like I had been on a certain time, so right. just be on the lookout for them. And yeah, we made a list last night, so the show will come your way. And actually, we will probably be putting our kayaks in this one to get warm as well. Yeah, we'll definitely put our kayaks in. Last year, my knee kept me from doing mm -hmm. it, so. But we just wanted to let you all know what was going on with the channel. And we got several projects coming up, and we're trying to. We're with the weather clearing up, we're going to try to step it up and do a whole lot more for you guys. Keep every, keep you interested, keep a lot more next stuff coming your way. But we thank you all for watching. Until next, next time, time. see what's, see out what's there. out there.